Well, welcome back to part four of the harbour construction. And you can see I have no drink whatsoever in my hand because we have a very serious situation. Uh, I want to build the bridge uh, along the same lines as the one in a place called uh, the Warden in uh, the Netherlands and uh, that meant that I had to put the mechanism uh, in the viewing place for the people at the Heritage uh, Railway and we've had a riot. I'll show you. There is the base of the bridge and here are the two beams which were lifted up into the air but the mechanism has to go here and that is the viewing spot for the people at the Heritage uh, railway line and uh, there was a riot tables got turned over uh, people got knocked out and we have a big problem but um, I think in the end I'm going to have to put my foot down and say I'm sorry but that is where it's going. Well, this is the bridge that I'm talking about and I've been under it uh, many times with uh, my boat or cellar but well, never driven over it. Nonsense, me... Well enough of all that nonsense let me just show you what uh, what's really happening. Under here I have uh, the security fence which um, is just setting and that's going to go along here and then I've got to go this bit here with the gates For the security fence I just use this uh, mosquito net which I picked up to dirt cheap somewhere and I'm using this uh, two millimeter by two millimeter balsa wood as the uh, rails on the posts. Time I, the last time I made uh, security fencing I made it with uh, wire and each piece is individually soldered and it was very very time consuming and fiddly so I went for the balsa wood this time. I've uh, just painted the first coat on uh, baby Norcella's hull and there's the superstructure which is going to go on but uh, I've sealed that with PVA and I'm just when it's dry I'll get that painted. Meanwhile we have the uh, coal barge in there ready and a boat making use of the, uh, the slipway and uh, the basin itself has had uh, four coats of uh, clear varnish so uh, when I've got all the boats in that I want I might put some uh, resin water in and so that it can make the ripples on it and everything but for the time being it's just going to have to be varnished like that and I've also added uh, the little bollards along there so that uh, boats can moor up properly well, good evening you all. It's Saturday the 12th of May and uh, here I am sitting in Britain with a, a warm lined insulated over uh, shirt on. Marvellous isn't it? They call it global warming. Well they did. They changed their mind now. Climate change. Good idea too. Anyway it's uh, uh, quarter six and so it's too late for uh, midday pair of teeth. That's, a, that's what the French call a, a, a pair of teeth. I call it uh, a set of dentures. Um, but it's too early for uh, a sundowner. So I'm just going to have a whiskey back. There you are. That's all that's left. <laughs> I've, had, I've had some already. And now I'm going to show you what I've been doing during the afternoon. And uh, apart from that, 
going to the garden centre with my wife because she's been busy out the garden. Uh, but now I'll show you what I've been doing here. Well, first of all, the, the uh, boat compound has a little bit of uh, landscaping along the side there and security fence and gates. Uh, the bloke with the Volkswagen dropping that motorboat into the water has run into toll, so he's had to call a tractor. Uh, no doubt he'll get out. And we've had loads and loads of bookings for the open space in the uh, boatyard there. And in spite of all the objections and riots and all the other stuff that went on about the, uh, the new bridge, construction has started. And uh, we're waiting now to see the rest of the design that we can get that built. Uh, as far as we've got for the moment and tomorrow I'm off with my wife to meet some friends that we've had for many many years uh, at a place called Simmons Yacht and uh, it's a lovely place I would suggest if you want to see it have a look on Google or Google Earth Simmons Yacht East and it's the Royal Lodge Hotel, and that's where we're going to be tomorrow night. So, uh, goodbye everybody, and enjoy your weekend, or what's left of it.